Hey everybody, thought I'd throw a quick little bonus video at you here. Mainly because I just did a video on orders and then on Christmas Eve, my order from China showed up. How about that? So let's go through it real quick. First up, the uh, land planes. Got six of those in because I'm currently out between building for myself and selling some kits. They're gone. Next up, cabs from my stingers a guy in texas has found out those work great to use for some cotton equipment so he just buys a pile of them at a time so those hopefully out the door on monday next up stingers the type that mounts on what's considered the crane body where it's got the frame under it in the cab i got five of those in and then i got five of the old school truck mount ones in so we'll see. I know a couple of these I've already got sold as projects. Uh, guys wanting some more kits of those. Last I knew there was a guy wanting kits of those. So a big chunk of those might disappear this week. Uh, next up over here, combine trailers. This is for me. I, need, I needed some combine trailers. Figured I'd print some of the ones Eric and I had drawn up and give them a whirl. Put a combine on them see how they hold up and then wheels and tires form i'm not a big fan of those they need some tweaking to make it work because the wheel does not want to fit all the way into the tire and the inner part because the outer part has this lip on it so it won't go all the way in like it should in my opinion then the inner part is a lot thinner so it just sits in there loose might have my designer take a look at the end it prints them all individually so they cost a lot of money these the sprues break every time so they cost a lot of money moving on rakes everybody wants a rake it seems i've been building them like crazy this fall so i got another five kits in uh wheels and tires for everything and then last but not least a giant order of iron pillars and cross members are roof sections beams whatever however you want to say it four sheds so we got 15 foot posts 20 foot posts 80 foot spans 100 foot spans those are all already sold and then my little pile of extra parts so one nice thing about using china you always get a few extras of something so yeah like i said a big chunk of this stuff is already sold Back Fox is running another sale through New Year's. It's their Christmas New Year's sale for those of us here in America that don't have the same holiday schedule as them. Um, I'm probably going to be placing another decent order with them. I've got some test prints I need to get ordered. My designer's just been cranking stuff out for me. I don't think I'm going to get a new project in in time for that. Hopefully... I can get my new project in before they take their big New Year's break in February. Is it the end of January, early February, Chinese New Year, that they take off like 10 days, two weeks, something like that? So, with that being said, lots of projects here. Oh, and then I was going to show you guys what I got going on in here because I talked about building rakes nonstop. So, I've got three more rakes on the bench tonight hopefully get a couple of these done so i got a green frontier one and then two of the red and yellow darf ones these rakes i mean you look up the brands you call it a darf frontier coon h and s i'm forgetting somebody there was a fifth one i found that uses the exact same frame different colors all the exact same thing so three rakes uh, the baler that's completed there was one I actually sent to a guy. It showed up in pieces. Thank you, USPS. I've made some fixes because I just wound up sending him a baler straight out of my collection over there on the shelf. So I will just dump that one back into my collection. So that made it right with him. It keeps everything the same here and there. Got two other balers I'm working on. 
Uh, let's see. All those trucks, I really need to call Circus City and order some decals so I can get moving on them. Um, there's the parts for those two balers. High moisture corn mill. Um, Eric and I drew up. Where is it? Well, had drawn up. We didn't draw it. A 7 mil corn mill. These are used on feedlots in southwest Kansas, Texas Panhandle. Uh, I'm sure Oklahoma has some, Colorado has some. They process high moisture corn. So you combine the corn at 35-ish percent, run it right through the mill, cracks that corn, then you pack it like silage. Well, we had that big 7 mil drawn up for our display we entered in the display contest at St. Louis. Has that been two years ago now? Had to be. It wasn't last year. So it had to be 2018. And we had several people say, man, make a smaller one. So I finally got caught up on some other stuff and got back around to revisions. I got a 4 mil drawn up. So there's the first test print of that one. See how that turns out. And then a good old WHO tub grinder. So that really catches you up on what little bit has happened since the video that is posting right now. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Today is the 25th. All the family was here. We had a great time. The kids are all playing with their stuff. Mom's taking a nap because she's wore out and I'm down here just trying to relax after a long day. So, videos posting tonight going over all this stuff. Then all of this stuff showed up after I'd already finished up the video. So there it catches you up on that. I'm going to go ahead and post this as just a real short little catch up. Probably midweek before New Year's. And then we'll get back to our regular scheduled programming. So with that being said, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Really helps the YouTube analytics help this channel grow and spread. And we'll talk to you guys later.